Shut up. Wow, dude, this is so beautiful. Dude, I love there it. she is. I love it. Wow. Working on your own motorcycle, it, it creates a bond with your bike. It's something that you're putting that energy into. You're bloodying your knuckles. Working with my hands and fabricating and building motorcycles, it's literally therapy. If there's one thing I know, Yaniv never disappoints. So after four months and this project started, Yaniv at Power Plant is now gonna reveal his motorcycle to Norm Reedus. If you don't know who Norm is, Norm is best known for The Walking Dead, is a hardcore motorcycle rider, and he's definitely gonna put some miles on it. The interesting part about Yaniv is he has the background of sort of like the modern day performance FXR and Dyna, as well as more of like the hand-built traditional chopper. So expecting to probably see a mixture of those two worlds. I'm really excited to see what he's gonna do with his sport chief. I think it's going to be kind of great to see their dynamic together. Um, I've never met Norman before, so it's going to be interesting to see how they kind of work together and see what the end result is. Uh, what's up? Who that? I feel like this is an intervention or something. <laughs> we Hi, didn't want to tell you this, but it actually is. What's going Dude, on? How are nice you? Nice to meet yeah, you, man. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you in First person. time meeting, huh? Right on. Yeah, yeah we've yeah, been messaging time. back and forth. Yeah, how you been, man? You been good? I've been good, yeah. Good. Good, good, Waiting good, for this see. moment, for a minute, and, and never, I was telling him, we never saw the bike as a bike yet. It's been like a vision that's going to come together to life, and it, it did really. Um, Dude, I, what are you talking about? I know I you like, like power, too. That's I love the, your bike. That's the thing about this bike. I just try to strip it down and then rebuild it back up. It's like, it's going to say power plant. It's going to say Norman. Like, dimensions-wise, like, it's got to fit you. I mean, down to the seat, everything's kind of formed for you, so. Dude, I love no it. no going back. I love it. Yeah, I great love job. It. Yeah, You're gonna be pumped. I love everything he does, yeah. I think it's pretty important for the builder being Yaniv and the recipient being Norman to have a relationship. It makes the process, I think, a lot more authentic in understanding what the recipient wants. I used to live downtown LA before there was like a downtown LA. And when I lived downtown, I would ride it to Venice and on the freeway, just a little bitty bike with these yellow sunglasses. And then when I started doing Walking Dead, I had a motorcycle in Georgia and I'd ride it to set every day. And one of the producers of the show said, you know, you're not supposed to ride your bike to work. I'm like, well, it's happening. So I don't have a car. This is what I'm doing. And then, you know, like a month later, he goes, how about a travel show? You travel around the world on a motorcycle and meet custom bike builders. And, and I was like, yeah, let's do that. I like the smell of the gasoline. I like the feel of feeling the motor work under you. I do my best thinking on a motorcycle. I sing the best on a motorcycle. I prefer two wheels all day long. I met Yaniv through mutual friends. Everybody knows Yaniv. He's like one of those artists that he knows what you're gonna like. He's very specific about what he wants to do for certain people. Like, you can see a Yaniv bike when it goes down the street, and people go, oh, you want a Yaniv. You can recognize their taste and their, their input on whatever they do, and he's got that, and I think that's kind of what attracted me to him. I've never owned an Indian. I've never even ridden an Indian motorcycle before today. I've always wanted one. Uh, I've always admired them. I just, I haven't had one before. So it was, today was like a big day for me. Shut up. Wow, dude, this is so beautiful. Dude, I love there it. There she is. I love it. Wow. Amazing. I love you encapsulated your style yeah. while not affecting the performance. There's been some builds which are amazing and beautiful art pieces, but it's taking away from and you like, you oh. fine tuned everything. It's so you. With your it's, style. And, it, and it's yeah. you too, I feel yeah. like. I, I try to stay with the earthy colors. I don't want to go too wild. You know Looks I mean? good from behind, from every side. I make yeah. sure like this thing doesn't leave here like looking the same, you know? <laughs> 
Yeah, you did an amazing job. And this this looked like that stock bike when you got that, it? That's exactly what it was. Dude, you're an artist. I made a pile of all the parts that we swapped out, but should we fire it up? Should we start real yeah. quick? Just to hear it? Oh, yeah. You just look at it. Just look at it. But I love what he did with, with the forks here. Like I was staring at it, I was like, what, what's going on here? There's little tweaks on it that are, are very him, like the way he like chops and slimlines everything. I'm very, very satisfied with the way the bike turned out. The main part that I'm satisfied with is the lines of the bike. The louvers are a big part of it. The dual disc, I had to narrow the calipers on the rims. I had to use narrower wheels. As narrow as I can go, because you still have to fit that frame of the Indian. But the swing arm, the shocks, the fender, that's kind of like what was leading me to this bike. I love it. It's so custom to me as well. It's great. Like, I just want to drive away. This bike rides so f good and it fits perfectly, it, it handles perfectly, it sounds sick. I'm totally in love with it. I'm so satisfied seeing Norman riding it on the freeway, how it glides. It's an amazing feeling. And every single time, no matter what, it's the same feeling that you're chasing. It's like you're chasing that one moment with the finished product.